Hi and welcome to another of SMC's how-to videos. This time we'll show how easy it is to set all the available hysteresis mode output functions for the ISE20 series pressure switch. Let's go. Here we see an ISE20 which is connected to an adjustable air supply. To set all parameters relating to an ISE20 output, we first need to access the function setting mode. For output 1, parameters are stored under function F1. Press and hold the set button for between 3 and 5 seconds. F0 is displayed flashing. F0 selects the units of measure displayed. Press the up button so that F1 is displayed flashing. Now we can set all parameters for output 1. The first parameter of output 1 that can be set is the mode in which it operates. Here we can select hysteresis mode, turn the output off altogether, error output which switches the output whenever an error is detected. We can also set a window comparator mode. Here we're focusing on hysteresis mode where we can specify the trigger point for the output and the hysteresis band around that point. Press the set button to accept. Next, we can set the output to a normal or reverse action. Normal means the output is off below the set point. Reverse means the output would be on until the pressure rises to the desired switch point. We'll select normal by pressing the set button. Now we can set the switch point of the output. In this case, we'll change from the default 0.5 MPa to 0.3 MPa so when the pressure rises to 0.3 MPa, the output turns on. Press the set button to store this. At this point we're able to set the hysteresis or the band that maintains the output even when the pressure drops away from the set point. Here, you can see the value is increased to 0.1 MPa. Again, we press the set button to accept. Now if required we're able to set a millisecond delay for the output to react to. We'll accept the default 1.5 milliseconds so the reaction appears instant by pressing the set button. Lastly, we can select whether the display screen switches from green to red or red to green with activation of the output. We can also maintain either color regardless of the output condition. Here we'll press the set button so that the screen turns from green to red when the output is active. Assuming we're happy with all our setting values for the output, press and hold the set button for more than 2 seconds to return to the measurement mode. So now with the output settings we've configured, when the pressure is increased to 0.3 MPa or above, output 1 activates. With the hysteresis set, only when the pressure drops below 0.2 MPa, output 1 goes off after our 1.5 milliseconds or less delay. You've seen how easy it is to configure the switch output of the ISE 20 series. You can find other SMC's how-to videos to set up and adjust SMC's products.